All right, uh, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rikar Kadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And uh, salutations to all you Akim, all you brothers out there that's pushing this truth and true sincerity. Uh, we were trying to come up with a topic, but as always, the easiest topic is to get on Esau. So we're going to get on Esau. There's a lot of stuff going on with Esau. Um, here uh, this week alone, so we just gonna we just gonna jump right in and get on Esau now. Con, this is Proverbs twenty nine and verse two. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. All right, now we through the scriptures, the wicked is established as Esau, Edom. You can go to Malachi the first chapter, verses uh, one through three. Mm -hmm. And matter of fact, let's go to um, Job nine and twenty four. Job nine and twenty four. Yeah. Con. All right, this is Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces and the end of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? All right, so the wicked is, is bearing rule right now. And you can go to Malachi, the first chapter, verses 1 to 3. Is Esau Edom the so-called white man? Okay, now we already know that there's going to be Israelites who look like so-called white people. Okay, so don't get simple here. <clears throat> if your line goes back to Esau Edom, you're an Edomite. If your line goes back to uh, Jacob, you're an Israelite. Okay, for the people that don't get simple out here. But uh, the wicked are in rule. So when the wicked are, are bearing rule, the people mourn. And we see that this week alone. What, uh, a lot of you Edomites commit suicide, like this fashion designer, uh, Kate Spade. And just today, this guy, uh, Anthony Bourdain, the guy that goes around to exotic countries and eats foods. All right. A lot of you Edomites just commit suicide because this is not the America that you knew. All right. You had your time. The height of your time was around the 19. Uh, well, going back into the 1890s, mm -hmm. America was really... Uh, becoming a superpower, but it didn't really start. It, it, you, you, your, your good old days, because you're trying to make America great again. So you've already realized in your head that the best time that you had was in the 40s, in the 50s, early 60s. Okay, this this is when you so-called white people were living it up, man. You know, because mm -hmm. I remember uh, going over it through school. It was a time where what you had the hippie bands and. Mm -hmm. But it was a it was a high rate in drugs. Yeah, too. you had Height and Asbury Street mm -hmm. in San Francisco that brought around the hippie movement. Um, like the brother just said. You had a um you had Elvis. A lot of you devils love Elvis. All right. You had uh, Eisenhower in office. Mm -hmm. All right. He was he was oppressing a lot of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You still had segregation back then. Mm -hmm. So that was a good time for y'all. Now uh, ever since Abba Bivens came onto the scene around the late 60s, early 70s, and prophesying the downfall of this place, it's been going downhill. And then you had the, um, Nixon taking the gold standard off the dollar. All right, so your money's worthless, man. And you can see it today with all these other countries who are Edomites, okay? Like uh, Russia doing deals with China. Germany uh, really not dealing with the United States anymore. All these countries are getting away from the United States. So this place... It's never going to be great again. That's why you see uh, suicide rates going up. All right. And there's an, yeah. there was another there was another actor today in Hollywood that uh, committed suicide. A lot of you a lot of you uh, celebrities in Hollywood. All right, you got to do these satanic rituals. With, whether you do sodomy or you do blood sacrifices, you guys are miserable. That's why you guys do drugs. You're always in rehab. That's why Robert Downey Jr. I don't know if he's an Israelite or an Edomite. Probably Edomite, but that's why he went to rehab so many times. Cause you, cause you actors are miserable, man. It, th this man's uh, wicked rulership trickles down to you people, man. All right. So, uh, want to get that article? Yeah, yeah. Let's get that article. Con, so. Con. It's a lot for moving. I was looking for my phone. That's all good. But it, it's over for you, so-called white people, man. You can start to see it, man. And you pick the right devil. <clears throat> To be put in office, Donald Trump, the guy that says anything that comes out of his mouth, he's politically incorrect. Mm -hmm. All right, he's gonna lead to your downfall, man. And you voted for this devil because you're the devil. Con, um, this is the article. It says, um, every day, more than 115 people in the United States die after overdose 
<clears throat> on opioids. Mm -hmm. The um, misuse of an addiction of op to opioids, including prescription pain relievers, heroin, and cinematic opioids, mm -hmm. such as, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this word. Fentanyl. Fentanyl is a serious national crisis that affects public health as well as social and economic welfare. So there it is right there. You know that that's just the Lord, you know, slowly taking this place down. Mm -hmm. And then once he's ultimately come back, this place mm -hmm. is going to be destroyed within an hour, man. Yeah. Quick, too. And he's speeding the, he's speeding the times up for the elect states. Go up to that part once again <clears throat> where it says, yeah, every day more than 115 people. It says um, every day more than 115 people in the, in the U.S. die after overdosing. On opioids. That's that's you so-called white people, man. All right, and that's a recompense. Matter of fact, get uh, get Galatians six and seven. God, Bob the shop, because that's a recompense of the Lord, man. Here it is, when uh the so-called Negro came back from Vietnam, you pump heroin into his neighborhoods back back then in the sixties and seventies. Dead presidents. That movie with uh Chris Tucker and um what's the old boy's name, man? Uh, Lorenz Tate. All right, they showed you in that movie. That heroin doses, heroin was pumped into the neighborhood. Then in the 80s, when you had crack, mm -hmm. okay, crack, and then then that that killed the so-called black community, man. Especially in cities like Washington D.C. Back in the early 80s and 90s, man, Washington D.C. was a war zone. Not not only to mention Los Angeles, Chicago, all that gang violence. That was over crack cocaine, man. And now today, what do you got? You got Molly's, you got Percocets, mm -hmm. Xanax. Okay, a lot of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are caught up in this white man's opioid addiction too. But we're gonna get on you devils today, man. All right, because this, this opioid addiction is, is coming to white America. And it's only, the only reason why these reports are coming up because when their people get affected, that's when you start to see it. Just like uh, that, that, that show called Teen Mom uh, a decade ago that came on, in, on MTV. You started seeing little white girls, little Becky and Susie, they started being getting pregnant at 13 and 14. It was a problem when you so-called white people uh, got uh, was getting uh, underage uh, pregnancy was going on. But that's how, that's every day in the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American neighborhood. Mm -hmm. But with opioid addiction, that's hitting you so-called white people, man. You devils are getting hit up by these opioid addictions, man. So you basically just reap what you sow. Come on. This is Galatians 6 and verse 7. Be not deceived. The most high is, is not mocked. For whosoever a man or salah, whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Alright, you you sow you reap what you sow. Alright. You got a lot of old jakes that say that about you, <clears throat> so-called white people, man. They're just afraid to say it. Alright. We're the ones that stand up in great boldness to this devil and tell him mm -hmm. he's a devil and his place is going down, man. Alright, you reap what you sow. You pump all that crack and heroin into the so-called black and Hispanic neighborhood. And then in 2018, you get opioid addiction. You reap what you sow, man. Mm -hmm. All right? So the hell with you devils, man. All right? Especially up there in the uh, Northeast, that 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 opioid addiction is rampant, man. It is rampant, man. All right? And that goes back to uh, the wicked... Uh, when, when the, let's go back to Proverbs 29. Come on, um, that goes back to Esau being the wicked king. Yeah. And just just, just some more Baba Kusha, yeah, if I can ahead. get it. Go ahead. A little bit more edification on Esau. <clears throat> you know, just something quick. This is um, Genesis 36, and verse 8. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir, Esau's Edom, which are you so-called white people. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. in case, you know, you guys, if someone don't know who Esau is. Matter of fact, uh, go to Obadiah, too. We can get some more edification on who Esau is, because somebody like, because, you know, you got this guy, uh, what was this guy, Pastor Stephen L. Anderson, that says Esau was done away with. Let's go to Obadiah, on, where it on. says, uh, thou just see, thou, thou, let me see, I want to, all right, um, let's read two, two through uh, four. Come this is Obadiah, in verse two. Behold, I have made thee small amongst the heathen that are greatly despised. And you see that right now, man. You see all these countries <clears throat> hating the United States. China hates the United States. Russia hates the United States. Um, North Korea hates the United States, even its allies. And now people in Canada and Mexico are like, what the hell is going on with these devils here in America, man? 
You hate us now? You putting tariffs? You putting tariffs on us? Mm -hmm. And if you look, man, like on social media, these mm -hmm. heathens are really fucking y'all up. Mm -hmm. What? What's happening? At what? In Africa? Africa? You know, like a week ago, and a half ago. Yeah. That was kicking y'all out. Oh yeah, they kicking you out of South uh, yeah, South yeah, Africa. Yeah. Cause you're not a South African, man. You claim to be everybody under the sun except for an Edomite. You hide away. You hide from being an Edomite, man. Now mm -hmm. you're being uncovered. Lord willing, we're going to verse six too. But um, could you continue on three? Come on, verse three. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee. That's why you vote for Donald Trump, man. Think <clears> you can make America great, thinking this is the this is the greatest country in the face of the earth. We got the best military, the best defense, the best this, the best that. That's your pride, man. Come, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock. That's why you like skyscrapers, man. That's why you got thirty-four uh, foot buildings, fifty-foot buildings. All right, you can go in any city, major city in America and see these skyscrapers because you devils love to live high, man. Come, and it's the cliffs of the rock too, which is your actual um, where you actually came from, mm -hmm. the Caucasus Mountains. That's why you call yourself Caucasian. Mm -hmm. Cave you know, dweller. That's actually Mount Seir that we just read in Genesis. Mm -hmm. So, so you Esau, you go all the way back, man. You go way back. Mm -hmm. You know that's why what if you go to Washington, mm -hmm. um, they have Abraham Lincoln sitting there in the, in the chair. What's it called again? Uh, and then you got what the um Abraham the Washington Monument. Yeah, that that was um like what what they had a um Rome. Mm -hmm. You know, if you look up uh, images, and then if I continue, uh, the rock whose habitation is high, that said in his heart. Who shall bring me down to the ground? That's what you white people say here in America, man. We got Trump in office. Nobody's going to take us down. You're slowly being taken down by the Lord, man. Come. Verse 4. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. All right. And what, what's, who's, who's the mascot for the United States? The eagle, man. All right. Because the eagle flies high. That's, that's the mentality of you so-called white people in America. You, you think you can't be taken down. Come. Uh, and... Though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. That's talking about your space programs, going into outer space, thinking you're the most high, watching people with these satellites, with these cameras, man. Mm -hmm. These people think that this technology is cool. No, it's meant to watch you, man. That's that's their, their space program. And, and and also they're looking to see when uh, Yahweh shot the real world ignorantly caused Jesus Christ come back. But they can't stop him, all right? Come on. Go to uh, verse 6. Come on. Verse 6. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? Well, first, it starts with the, this knowledge, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding through the scriptures. But then also it translates into uh, the internet. You know, you can go on all types of uh, things here on the internet. Just today, I just looked something on uh, with the Young Turks and this old devil in South Carolina. He put he basically put this Jake in slavery. Now the Jake was a little mentally retarded, but he worked this Jake. He worked this Jake for about 20 years on a job in South Carolina. And uh little little no pay, a lot of hours, worked in the death. He kept him away from his family. And that's just a small case of what you so-called white people do. Mm. Like like the uh, like the elders from our camp mentioned in their live stream yesterday about Esau Edom. Who knows what's going on with you devils, man? We don't know. We don't even know the depths of um, the expose that we got on you until your house shot comes back, man. All right. So there's a lot of things of Esau's being searched out. All right, and he's being exposed right now for being the devil, man. Mm -hmm. The scriptures say what? We're lifting up that skirt. Yeah, know? we're lifting up the skirt. We lift. We, we show the skirt. You know, you lift something up. You're able to see something for what it is, man. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing that he's the devil, man. That's why all this chaos and calamity is falling upon him because this civilization known as America is over. Yeah, that's why, you know, he's living it up because he know he has a short time, too. Yeah. That's why the suicide rates are going up. You want to read that? that oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Khan, Revelations. Yeah. Khan. Yeah, but uh, as I was saying, you know, that's why the suicide rates going up. Mm -hmm. That's why more more Jake is missing, going missing. Mm -hmm. You know, there's probably Esau mingling and what, what, with the genetics and all that. Oh, yeah. You know how this devil is. Yeah. Um, this is Revelations 12 and 12. Therefore, rejoice, ye heavens. And ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down upon you, having great wrath, which we see today. Mm -hmm. Because he knoweth that he has a, but a short time. And that's why, you know, he's putting himself high as an eagle. Mm -hmm. 
That's why he's calling himself a celebrity. He's mm-hmm. looking down on people. Mm-hmm. If you go to a regular basketball game, you're going to see uh, Jake, not Jake, but um, Esau with a lot of money mm-hmm. sitting high just looking down, yep. clapping his hands, smoking a cigar, you know. Mm-hmm. That's what they do. They sit high in these places, man. Mm-hmm. They, they find these, uh, what, private jets real high behind the scenes, yeah. you know. And that's what we see today. And they know they have a short time. So continue to keep popping your Molly. Mm-hmm. Your Xanax and your, your crack cocaine, you saw. And do your opioids, man. Live it up, man. Come on. Because, I mean, we, we know you so-called white people are, are mentally weak, man. That's why you commit suicide. You know, when you start to lose your job, you kill your whole family off, then you kill yourself, man. All right, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American is basically through these curses. We, we've been, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahshua, we've been built to deal with these curses that the Lord gave us. But... These curses are going to slowly come on you. And we see that you can't handle it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let, me, let me read Deuteronomy 30 and 7. Yeah. You got something to say? And yeah, you, you guys are mentally weak. Even all the way back in the beginning, where it says what? Jacob was um was making the um the pot or whatever, mm-hmm. stirring it up. But, but Esau was like, you know, hey, I'm hungry, man. I, need, I want it now. I'm faint. I'm ready to die. I want to eat it. I want to eat it right now. I want to eat it raw. That's why you see the day... You know, they just sit at the dinner table, I want my meat medium raw. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. which, is, which is not good for your health, first of all. And it was going to mess your insides up, man. It's yeah. really unhealthy. Yeah, it's a lot. And also, too, uh, I think it was Genesis 27 when Esau was going to ask for his blessing. Then he wept. Mm-hmm. That just shows how mentally weak you so-called white people are, man. God, uh, he, he found no repentance. Yeah. Actually, I, I just get that for more edification. So you bring that up. All right, this is Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecute thee. So our enemies, okay, we're not going to get it, but our enemies are located in Psalms, the 83rd chapter, starting with Esau, Edom, namely the so-called Jew rat that says he's a, he's, he's a uh, Israelite, but he calls himself an Israeli, all right? All these curses are starting to fall upon you. That's why you see all these suicide rates happen with you Edomites. Opioid addiction is going up. It's something else that happened this week that I cannot remember, but uh, it's, it's, ba- it's basically just over with, man. Mm-hmm. Your, your civilization is going down. Just how, how like in Rome, when uh, they use the Daenerys and uh, they use that silver Daenerys back during the early establishment of the Roman Empire, and you see how it, it lost its value. That's what's happening to the dollar. But you Americans are so stupid, you believe anything that's on TV. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, this is um, Hebrews 12 and 8, um, 16. Least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, which are so-called white people, mm-hmm. who for one merciful of meat sold his birthright. Mm-hmm. Verse 17, for ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no peace of re- no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So that goes all the way back to you. You know, you always been mentally destroyed. Mm-hmm. You, you can't handle the things that Jacob was uh, can handle. Mm-hmm. That's why the scripture says what in Genesis twenty five. You know, one nation shall be stronger than the other. That's right. You know, that's right. And uh, the the could you go back to that verse about being profane? Come on, come on. So uh, that's how that. This is um Hebrews twelve. And verse 16, least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one merciful of, of meat sold his birthright. All right, so that word profane is ungodly. And mm-hmm. we're starting to see that. Well, we already knew that, but America's starting to see that. There is a senator who openly admitted that he was a pedophile. Okay. All right, you got, you got, you got a guy this week alone, I think he was in Maryland or Virginia, who wanted to uh, legalize incest. Okay, when you have things like pedophilia and incest and bestiality that be put on the books, you can, you know that society is going down. When you put women over the men, you put these women over the men in these positions, you give them so-called rights, okay? You, 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 you give these women the oppression that they're over you. That's, that's when a civilization goes down, man, all right? The writing's on the wall, all right? And then fornicator, man. That word fornicator, I believe, goes into pornea. Once again, you love homosexuality. What is this, Pride Month? Okay, mm-hmm. what's so prideful about having sex having sex with a man and you're a man? The, the Most High 
Yahweh Bashim Yashai condemns that in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Okay? Are you are you uh, sodomites? Are you lesbians? Okay, there's nothing prideful about that lifestyle. And deep down inside, you know that that's wrong. Okay? So you can see the civilization known as America crumbling when you promote Pride Month, when uh, bestiality is being put on the books. Who does this? Okay, it's not the so called black man. Come. The black man is trying to survive here in America due to your legislation. And, and Jim and, and trying to recover from slavery and Jim Crow, okay, it's not him. Mm -hmm. It's Esau. It's not. It's not these so-called Chinese people coming over here trying to uh, build businesses. They all follow the philosophies of Esau Edom and his democracy. Democracy goes back to the word. Uh, it basically means the ruling the demons, man. Mm -hmm. All right, and you so-called white people are just basically demons with all this legislation that you got uh, in place, man. All right, even your own people like Tom Delay. The Republican from Texas said that pretty soon, it was about three, four years ago, that pedophilia and bestiality is going to be on the books. And it's going to be legal here soon in America, man. So who else is doing this? Esau, Edom. That's why you people are oppressed. That's why you people are overworked, undersexed. That's why you people do opioids. And that's why you start to see these fashion designers and these models and these people on TV commit suicide. They can't take it no more Come because on. the wicked are in rule. Time. Your own people are not rule. You can't handle it. Here it is. You, you, you're you lower level NASCAR watching uh, Bud Light drinking Edomites, mm -hmm. man. All right. You should be mad. You should be like the brother from Kansas City said. You should be out here rioting, man, because you are not getting me a piece of American pie. OK, these Rothschilds, these DuPonts, the Rockefellers basically own America. You need to be protesting at the door of the Rockefellers. OK, but you're so stupid. You don't even know what the hell is going on. You just. Trump is a guy. Trump is a puppet, man. Con. You got any uh, more scriptures up? Con, this is on Nahum 3 and 1. Woe to the bloody city that is full of lies and robbery that pray the part of not, man. So what the brother brought out, those are all lies, man. Mm -hmm. You're saying it's okay to be a homosexual. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw a show one day with this uh, Edomite woman. She, she tried to marry a dog, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? That's, that's off. That's way off. That's way off. That's man. all the way off. You know, so so woe to the bloody city that's filled with lies, man. Mm -hmm. Destruction to this place, man. Yeah. And uh, what you have, what Isaiah? It says woe. I'm gonna get it. Well, how is this city? How was this place, this oppressing city, established through the rape, rob, and murder of the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American? All right. The so-called uh, Native American, Seminole Indians, and so-called Latinos were over here. You conquered them, mm -hmm. and then you brought their brothers, the so-called Negroes, West Indian, and Haitians, to build this country. And you're still using us to build this country to this day, working these BS jobs for little to no pay. You killed off the Native American Indians and put them in reservations. All right, that's a bloody city. We're probably sitting on dead bodies right now as we speak, sitting in this house. All right, so this city, this uh, great city, this oppressing city, America, was built on rape, robbery, and murder. And no, a Babylon is not the Vatican City for you dumbass Israelites out here, man. Change the up the doctrine. And the Lord is going to kill you, man, along with Esau, Edom, man. Con. And this is um, Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, mm -hmm. that put darkness for light and light for darkness, mm -hmm. that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And that's all you, Esau. Because of what? Let's go back to Proverbs. Proverbs 29 and verse 2. When the righteous are, are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people of mourning. Yeah. It all goes back to you being a wicked king, Esau. Mm -hmm. you, you're properly unfit to rule, man. That's why you got to be taken out when your house shot comes back. But before that, all type of calamity is going to come upon your country, man. Your beloved country. You want to uh, sing God Bless America. And uh, what else is that song they sing? At, uh, God Bless America and the Star Spangled Banner, which is yeah. basically... Uh, celebrating the oppression of the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American in the Star Spangled Banner, man. All right. So, like the brother said, man, everything is backwards here in America, man. Come on. So, um, you got any more scriptures? La. All right. Let's close it out with uh, I think it's uh, Isaiah forty and twenty-two. Isaiah forty and twenty-two. Uh huh. Because judgment is coming here to America, man. Like the scriptures say, a man reap what he sows. <clears throat> You brought along bloodshed, you're going to get bloodshed, okay? You pump drugs and, and crime into the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American communities. What do you think is happening to these so-called white communities? 
Now, opioid addiction is going up. You crackers just dropping dead from opioid addiction, man. Because you, uh, your country's just going down, man. Thus say the Lord. Come on. And we can see it happening, man. For those who don't believe, you know, you're a fool. Mm -hmm. for, for those who don't see the things that's going on in America, you are a fool, man. You're dead. Yeah. Especially our people, man. Come If you can't see this country's going down, man, you're caught up in the folly, man. You're caught up. A lot of you Negroes just going to watch Game 4 of the finals tonight and think that everything is just fine. You, you can't wait to see what LeBron James is going to do next year. When all prophecy is breaking loose, man, there probably won't be no goddamn NBA next year, man. All right, all hell's about to break loose, and it's all leading up to the RFID chip too, man. A lot of you so-called white people who believe in this country, and a lot of you Negroes who bought a, who bought this philosophy of, of uh, buying a, a peace and prosperity here in America, you're going to take that chip, man. And then the Lord spake of these things, man. Yeah. Through his men. Through his men. You know how many generations that the men, you know, the prophets were like, hey, this is coming. This is coming. Mm -hmm. This is coming. This is going to happen. Mm -hmm. We seeing all these things um, being passed. They, right. They're trying to do bestiality. Yeah. Uh, that's actually on a low level right now. Yeah. Because people are actually already doing it. Yeah. Homosexuality, pedophilia. And, and, and now we see what? The chip on a low level. Mm -hmm. Everything is basically here. What? Rumors of wars? Yeah. Overseas, man? Yeah. They actually battling and stuff, man. We, we see these things, man. Mm -hmm. Man, the end is close, man. The end is real close. All right. This is um Isaiah 40 and verse... No, I think it's 48 22. Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. This is um Isaiah 48 and verse 22. There is no peace, saith the Lord, unto the wicked. All right, there's no peace. All right, whether that be Esau Edom, who's the number one wicked, or two thirds of our people, there's no peace coming here. All right, so get that through your head, man. All these videos is going up on YouTube. All right, you can't get over it, man. All right, they're trying to promote YouTube Red right now, but all these videos are just beating up YouTube Red upside the head, man, because they're trying to warn you, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans of the danger that's coming toward this country, man, because not on, not on top of on, not on, not only on top of Esau being perishing, all right. Two thirds of our own people are gonna die, man. That's why we're warning you. That's why the blood is off our hand week in, week out. That's why the blood's off our hand. When we do videos like this, man. So there's no peace for the wicked. You know, you other nations, man. You better take your ass back to your country, man. All right, because you're gonna get hit with severe judgment. You got any closing words? Things there? about to pop off in America. Yeah, man. real soon. There's about to be a famine in America. Yep. Economic collapse in America. People's gonna be dying in these streets in America. FEMA camps. Mm -hmm. um, cops are gonna to die too. Yeah. Certain cops are gonna have military weapon. Beautiful. You know? All these things are coming to Babylon, aka America, man. Mm -hmm. So you guys need to stop playing around. And for you heathens, go back to your homeland, man. Yeah, go so back. You, you know, this, this, uh, you're going down to along with Esau. You're, going, mm -hmm. you're still going into um, captivity. Mm -hmm. but, but get the hell out of here, man. That's right. You know? And for you two-thirds, man, that's still out here doing all this folly, you're going to die. And for us, you know, Lord willing, without we're all that number, for the hope for that, man, gear up and get ready, man. Because mm -hmm. the, the day is about to come, man, and it's about to hit hard, man. That's right. And that, that's all I want to say, y'all. You know, with that, we're just going to close it on out, man. We're going to say death to America, death to Esau, Elam, death to you other nations, death to you two-thirds, death to sodomy, death to bestiality. Death to pedophilia, death to all types of wickedness going on here in America, man. We want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations and peace to all you brothers out there pushing this truth and true sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.